Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2017 RAV4 GXL all-wheel drive. So a little bit about us first here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus here in Cairns. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we always have around 160 vehicles in stock and go through about 120 on any given month. I am at our city yard, got our multi-level showroom there. As you can see, a large range of vehicles. Now we do offer obviously flexible finance options over there as well. Uh, then they're very competitive with the banks. And as you go along Mulgrave Road heading out of the city towards the beautiful sunset there, uh, you'll actually come across a brand new part of Toyota and Lexus, parts and services out the back, and our second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Throughout the video though, I'll be going over this RAV4 in complete detail, simply pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale, and basically any sort of extra features on the vehicle as well. So as we make our way around, we'll start down the front here. So being the GXL, it does come with the nice big alloy wheels here. Giving that extra sort of sporty look. But as we can also see with the Dunlop tyres here, excellent amount of tread, they're basically brand new. Making our way around the front, so they have fitted obviously the nudge bar on the front of this one. Uh, they've also got things like the bonnet protector and the headlight protectors there as well. Now, obviously the common things around the front are things like your stone chips so these sort of protections and extras do obviously help uh, they've also gone ahead and fitted a led bar across the nudge bar there as well which is always handy beautiful excellent amount of clearance so don't expect to see any sort of gutter rash or anything underneath uh, as we can as we go along no real stone chips either up along the bonnet a couple of minor ones nothing major but as you can imagine, if it didn't have that bonnet protector, it'd be a hell of a lot worse. A couple of these really small ones, potentially be brush touched, but overall condition, very good. As we can see, no major dings or dents. Beautiful, so make our way down the passenger side here. Just trying to give you a really good angle of the body so you can see if there's any dints or ripples. As we can see, very clean and tidy as a whole. They do also have the RAV4 gutter sliders and side steps here. A little scratch down there, but these sort of markings are to be expected in a three-year-old vehicle. But overall, we can see very clean and tidy. Make our way around these alloy wheels, just seeing if there's any things like gutter rash doesn't appear to be which is always good we're just making our way back down that passenger side just giving you another really good angle of the body well, as we make our way around the rear so a couple of features back here like our reversing sensors along the rear bumper and obviously our built-in reversing camera are uh, these sort of safety features obviously help and keep not only a straight back end here uh, but really good if you do have any little kids running around the house or the neighbourhood. But as we can see, it's very good condition. Uh, we'll open up the boot for you. So normally we expect to see luggage markings. We've got a couple of little markings along here. Uh, but as a whole, still very clean and tidy. Uh, being the RAV4, they've got their nice big boot space being a five-seater. Yeah, this has a few extras in here, so they've obviously got the cover here. Which a lot of people do pull out and don't tend to make it back in the vehicle. Uh, they've got this mesh netting. Uh, sort of like a hammock if you do have anything you need to obviously carry up top, like fruit and veg you don't want rolling around. Uh, but they've also been protecting the floor. They've got the genuine Toyota rubber floor mat in the back here. Give you a look underneath it's still in excellent condition so they haven't just put it in there to hide anything uh, but obviously it does a really good job at protecting the boot there so all these sort of extras do stay in the vehicle and come with it right, as we can see this is an all-wheel drive version obviously that extra added safety on the road making our way down the driver's side again just trying to give you a really good angle of the body as a whole but covering each panel as we go just looking for those markings and imperfections. Yeah, 
Well, as you can see on the driver's side, it is very clean and tidy. Uh, the main sort of things you can expect is a couple little markings on the driver's door. But that's on pretty much any pre-owned vehicle, but as we can see, hardly noticeable. But we're just making our way back down, just trying to get a really good angle of that body again, just so you can see as a whole. So as we go over the windscreen, no chips or cracks, no major damages. It has been through its roadworthy. And as we go along the roof, got a couple little minor markings there, but nothing major. As you can see, no big dings or dents, no hail damage. And obviously being the GXL, it does have those roof runs across the top there as well. If we'll go through the interior, just like the rest of the vehicle so far, excellent condition, no cuts, no tears. Uh, the door cuts here, no scuffing along the bottom from feet or boot marks. Uh, inside, they've also got the genuine Toyota rubber floor mats fitted inside here as well. And again, just trying to show you the carpet, just so you can see it's not hiding anything. Uh, these guys obviously took a lot of pride in their vehicle. Beautiful. As we can see, the upholstery, like everything else so far, very clean and tidy. No cuts, no tears, no burns. Doesn't look like any of the stitching starting to come undone, anything like that. Same can be said for the roof. Beautiful. So, let's quickly lock it up for you. If the keys are in the vicinity, this here, keyless entry. Just simply unlocks provided the keys are nearby. And this does come with a full set of keys as well, which is always good. On the driver's door though, we do have our electric windows and obviously for our central locking. So foot on the brake, push button start. Nice and simple. So on the right hand side here, we do obviously have for our mirrors as well. Turn the aircon down a little bit. Been nice and warm up here in Cairns. And we also got obviously our hill descent there as well. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, all these controls work for the head unit up, all the display screens, so up there near your speedometer. And obviously our cruise control just down in here. So as we have a look, we can just simply flick through. Once your phone's connected, obviously anything to do with your uh, messages can be displayed. Uh, the music side of things, navigation, uh, what sort of mileage or kilometres or fuels left in the tank, all those sort of things. As you can see, it's done 82,602 kilometres. And as we make our way across, uh, we've got a nice large display screen here. So it is all touchscreen and obviously all the buttons as well. Uh, so as we can see, it does have the built-in navigation, which is always good. Obviously the SD or map card just there. As we go back home, you can set this up how you like, um, whether it be through the Bluetooth, whether it be just simply for music. Um, also at the end of the day, that's obviously where that reversing camera is displayed. Giving you a nice large option at the back there for safety. Now below here, you do have your dual climate control air conditioning. Now what that means is at the end of the day, if you want to change one, you can set it completely different to the other person if you like. Obviously really good for those long drives where the driver does start to obviously overheat a bit more from concentrating and some of the passengers obviously tend to cool down if they're just relaxing in the passenger seat. Underneath we do have our built-in obviously 12 volt or cigarette port and obviously the USB and AUX down there as well. Uh, also eco and sports mode and as we can see there we've obviously got one cup holder and the other one's just set just back a bit on the other side of the uh, automatic here but the front just like the rest of it very clean and tidy on the upholstery no cuts tears burns uh, along the dash no fading no cracking uh, even in the front here as well they do have the genuine toyota rubber floor mats Trying to try to give you a good angle as we can see just down there. It is coming into the evening, so sorry if the lighting's getting a little bit tricky. Uh, but we do have a full set of books in there, which is always good. 
Obviously the main one people are concerned about is the service side of it, so we'll have a quick look. Beautiful, so as we can see, it's got services in there. It's just a little bit tricky trying to work this with one hand, that's all. If you do have any further questions about the servicing, by all means, feel free to ask, but it does look like most of the services have been done, if not all of them, which is always good. Uh, last but not least, we'll pop the bonnet and we will have a quick look underneath for you. Beautiful, sir, as we can hear, it is running nice and smoothly. Uh, underneath, very clean and tidy. Doesn't appear to be any sort of red dust. Uh, no major knocks, squealing the belts, anything like that. Beautiful. That was our virtual tour, though, of our 2017 RAV4 GXL all-wheel drive. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.